I'll try to set the scene for this panel and for the discussion to say very briefly a few words about the philosophy of our Slovak development assistance and uh, particularly about our role in the, the region of the Western Balkans. As I said in my uh, introductory speech, when we defined um, our development assistance 10 years ago, we were trying to find out what's in it, what, what's, what Slo Slovakia can offer which is different from other countries, where is our added value. The fact was that was clear to all of us that we are not, not going to be the biggest or strongest donor anytime soon. But uh, there are things we have th which the others may not have, namely our authentic experience. We have our first hand experience from building a, a statehood, creating the democratic institutions, and of course forming the market economy. Logically, this was something that we believed could be offered as a part of our development assistance, and it was only logical that we've chosen the region of the Western Balkans as our first uh, partners region, because these are the countries that have declared their EU integration as their ultimate goal. They are, these are countries that are trying to follow our path and our experience. Uh, so this, this, this was our offer to them. It is clear that we have no hidden agenda. We are honest brokers when it comes to uh, th these countries which uh, gives us the privilege of being not only strong supporters but also very uh, loud and clear critics when we don't like things. And, and our offer was our experience. We have achieved a lot. We have made uh, mistakes. So learn from both so you can uh, be more successful and you can do all of this faster and quicker. So this is how it all started. We have uh, chosen uh, Serbia and Montenegro. At that time it was one country as, uh, as our first pro uh, program country. And uh, when I look back at uh, these 10 years, I, uh, and in this region one can see how much our ODA has shifted and has shaped uh, and, and changed uh, as Slovakia was moving forward. In, in the first stage, the, the, the theme, the main topic was reconciliation and reconstruction. And uh, Sonia would remember that among the first projects we were delivering bridges. The bridges in six regions of, of, of Serbia that are serving the community of 300 people. So it was uh, very much assistance on the substance, but also symbolic about building bridges. Later on, we've moved from, so to say, from hardware to software. And we uh, started offering technical assistance and transfer of experience. Uh, it, that means institutional assistance and bringing in uh, the EU experience. And finally, the third stage, is uh, about linking our Slovakia's assistance with the European Union's accession funds and using uh, European Commission's tools such as EPA twinning or TIEX. Speaking about the individual countries, Serbia is the biggest recipient of the Slovak uh, development assistance. We've implemented more than 100 projects there. And uh, looking back, back over these 10 years, we, as I said, we started with bridges. Uh, then we've uh, focused on consolidation of democracy and the rule of law. And since 2011, we are uh, supporting the projects which are designed uh, to transfer the experience and, and uh, knowledge of transformation. And we have started implemented our, implementing our new uh, and very flexible uh, official development assistance instrument, which is called CETIR program, Center for Transmission of, of the Transformation and Integration Expertise. When we look at Montenegro, here, uh, the particular example or of our assistance that uh, is worth mentioning is the National Convention on European Integration, which is a project that uh, enjoyed uh, big success in Slovakia and has become an export article not only to Montenegro but also to uh, Moldova and Ukraine. And Albania right now is very interested to, uh, to learn from our experience. So discussion about uh, what European integration would mean for the country. We have also focused on the uh, sector on, of environment, which was another priority of our Slovak aid in Montenegro. And also since 2009, uh, the program, which is called Public Finance for the Development, is developed there, uh, whose aim is to strengthen national capacities in the area of combating corruption and ensuring efficient use of public funds. Montenegro is also interested 
thing for us because this is where we were learning uh, how to work with uh, international donors. And we, I, I would like to mention uh, two projects in the area of combating terrorism. We are working together with the UN Office on Drugs and Crime on training on judges and prosecutors. And then uh, we are also working with UNDP on uh, liquidation of small arms and light weapons and also the training, the technical stuff of the Ministry of, of Defense. And finally, Macedonia. Here, again, uh, our focus shifted from institution building and infrastructure gradually to the tra transfer of experience. We have implemented 12 projects there. First, capacity building of the civil society, the rule of law. We uh, have successful example of, tri of trilateral uh, cooperation in uh, Macedonia, particularly would like to mention the project which is developed both by the uh, national parliaments of Slovakia and the Czech Republic together with the Macedonian parliament whose uh, uh, aim is to set parliamentary institute, library, archives and we are also using the, or, uh, the, the program is being developed thanks to the assistance from the US aid and the Swiss government. And uh, Macedonia is also a symbolic case uh, because it's sort of uh, passing the torch. Uh, next week we will have Macedonian experts here in Bratislava and we will have consultations on how to help Macedonia becoming a donor country itself. So how to, in a way, establish Macedonian aid. And this is also a good proof of a, of a success and progress uh, this country has made and we are happy to be part of it. So I, I, this is uh, what I wanted to, to, to say at the, at the beginning, just to define why we went to the Western Balkans and what we have done with our partner countries.